Hi guys, it's Jen and Alisa from Captivated by Him, and we are helping you to put Christ back into Christmas this year. Do your eyes cross when you hear the word Christmas gifts? Well, today our friend from Redeemer's Grace Church is here to help us with some budgeting tips. Hi guys, I'm Joanna. I'm a wife and I'm also a mother and I love Christmas. I love to celebrate Christmas and Christ's birth. You know, even after thousands of years after Christ's birth, we can still experience the same awe and wonder that the shepherds did in Luke chapter 2. So even as Mary pondered the night's happenings in her heart, we can still read that same Christmas story and be amazed that the Son of God had such a lowly but magnanimous birth. So I'm here to help you put the Christ back into Christmas in regards to your Christmas budget. I'm going to give you three practical and financial tips and three spiritual bonus tips to help you survive this year's Christmas season and get the financial anxiety out of your life so that you can enjoy meditating upon Christ's birth and spending that quality time talking about Jesus with your family. Tip number one, set a realistic budget. So sit down, pray, and ask God to be with you and look at your normal budget or your current bank account. Are you behind on paying bills? Maybe it's been a crazy year for you and you can't afford the normal Christmas that you're used to celebrating, but that is okay. Believe me, I would hate for any of my family or my friends to put themselves into debt over my Christmas gift this year. If the people you're wanting to give presents to this year really love you and you really love them, it's not going to be a huge letdown if you are unable to give this grand present, right? And remember, Christmas is not about your gifts that you're giving to people. It's about Christ's gift coming down to live a righteous and blameless life for us so that he can make the ultimate sacrifice on the cross and forgive us of our debts and make it possible for us to live a life that is honoring to him. Anyway, back to setting a realistic budget. If you do have money for Christmas, grab a sheet of paper or open a new document on your laptop or your phone and put that Christmas budget number on the top. Bonus tip number one, self-control is part of the fruit of the spirit. And we see that in Galatians 5, 22 to 23. We know that this step for most people is hugely influenced by society's pressures, but as you know, that's not biblical pressure. So seek to glorify God with your actions and gifts this season. That will include having some self-control in the area of spending and giving. Tip number two, make a list. Do you wanna give gifts? Make a list. List out all the names of the people that you wanna give gifts to. And don't forget those you know, sneaky gifts like white elephant gifts or secret Santa gifts or gifts for the unexpected. Think of the gatherings you usually attend, the friend groups and the people that you regularly spend Christmas with. Do you host a party or a gathering? How much will you be spending on food? After you make a list, make sure your list of people or events is prioritized. It may matter more to your husband or your children or your boyfriend, siblings, whoever, to get a gift from you than the people that you live next to or the person that you only see once every year to exchange Christmas gifts with. By the way, you are not required to give a gift to every single person on your list. That most likely is unrealistic. So now go back to your budget, as I mentioned in tip number one, and make sure that it's realistic and effective so that you don't overwhelm yourself. Now divide your budget by the people and the priority and put a number amount by each person's name on your gift list. This isn't because you only love them this much of your money's worth. Hopefully you've shown them that you love them all year long, but no, this number amount is to help you retain self-control and know the boundaries of your Christmas budget for this specific person. Bonus tip number two, have peace about your situation and this Christmas season. Jesus said during his earthly ministry in John 14, 27, peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives, do I give to you. Do not let your heart be troubled, nor let it be fearful. Be thankful for the Prince of Peace in your life and meditate on all the sacrifices he made to be your Messiah. Tip number three, get creative. Remember, this year you're going to put the Christ back into Christmas. And material gifts are not what Christmas is all about, as we mentioned a little bit earlier ago. Consider a way to make affordable gifts like 
giving cookies or candies or even getting candy canes with Bible verses on them. And that would be even super cute and really appreciated. Also consider where you're spending your money as you buy your gifts. Do you know people that run a crafting shop or has their own business? Or maybe you know someone that doesn't even necessarily have their own business, but they make really neat crochet beanies or scarves. And you know, you can even help them by giving them a little extra cash. So that way you can even bless two people with a single gift. Also consider the gift of time. You may feel like a $5 gift card from a coffee shop is too cheap or you know, you don't want to give it to your best friend, but I bet she would love to skip gifts and spend an afternoon with you having coffee while you're sitting in a Christmassy setting. Don't forget to make your time intentional. And don't forget Christ. He is the reason why you're celebrating Christmas in the first place. So take the time to share about what you've learned from the Word that morning or what you have been learning and think about how you can be striving to imitate Christ. Bonus tip number three, be generous. If you are well off financially, we would still encourage you to give responsibly and with intentionality. You don't necessarily have to be generous toward your friends financially, but you can still have a giving spirit and give of your work and of your time to help others this Christmas. Also, make sure you protect your offering to your local church. You don't want to skip your monthly offering to your church just so that you can add more money to your Christmas funds. That's one way to take the Christ out of Christmas. In 2 Corinthians 9, 7, it says, each one must do just as he has purpose in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. So cheerfully give to your church this Christmas. Remember that the church is the body of Christ. So if you wish to put the Christ back into Christmas, you'll continue to prioritize your offering to your local church this Christmas. Dude, that was really encouraging. When we put budget tips in three easy steps, it totally sounds doable. Yeah, totally. I gotta get started on my budget and my list right now, but before then, I gotta make sure that I have the self-control to not get overwhelmed about all the little celebratory things and just remember the main point of Christmas, which is Christ. We hope that you have a really great, joyous, wonderful Christmas season as well, but be sure to also check out our previous video and remember to stay captivated and put the Christ back into Christmas.